hey what's up guys welcome to another video guys and girls <laughs> my name is prince mason um yesterday i put out a video talking about why you shouldn't use the clone stamp tool anymore which is uh, this tool right here if you hit s on your keyboard you see this tool right here and why i feel like the patch tool is actually better right i feel like the, the patch tool is the best um tool for retouching it's just very easy to use and i give a few examples on how to use it so if you haven't checked out that video please check it out but somebody left a comment talking about the remove tool and um i thought it was interesting because the remove tool um if you don't have it anywhere on your um, um, toolbar here you can just click on this right here and you see right here so the remove tool is a new tool that um, Photoshop just puts like an AI tool and it's really good and I thought about it and I said you know that's interesting why haven't I actually tried the remove tool for skin retouching and you know I was thinking to myself is this going to be a, a good tool because it's AI you know it, and I would say no if you're going to retouch skin the remove tool is is not the best tool for you so for example i'm just going to take out this blemish right here right first things first it, it kind of takes a while but one thing that it does is i don't know if you guys can see on the screen here it leaves a very different color there after taking out um whatever blemish it, it's taken out yes you know it leaves it, it takes it out you know it generates everything that's supposed to generate there and makes it look nice and even but the problem is right here i can see like a red patch right there so if i take this out too this is good but sometimes it just leaves that red patch right there and the reason why it's doing that unlike the patch tool which kind of takes from where you are like um if i'll give you an example with the patch tool if you do this and you drag it it kind of patches this place from here so it's using the same textures that are here to patch this the difference is that with the remove tool i think what it's doing is that it is generating pixels all over again and trying to replace those pixels right it's not as fast as the patch tool it loads and it has to generate pixels which is not actually great like i said why notice after using it if you guys can see very well i don't know if um youtube will be able to render is that it kind of leaves like a reddish um i'll tell you it leaves like a reddish um tint and also you know it's like it generates the pixels so the pixels are not great so that's one thing that i want you guys to put in mind if i zoom out I'm pretty sure that you can actually see it now i don't think it's going to be a bad tool to use i mean you know like but is it the best tool to use i don't think it's the best tool to use so i would say no the remove tool is not going to be a tool that i would use for skin retouching um right now at this moment right now um but it's still good you know it still does a, a decent job if you don't have any other option then it'll be a good option to use you know it's very simple all you have to do is just rub on it and you know it will get the job done you know it does a, a decent job i just don't think that it's the best tool right now you know because of the small or the tiny limitations it has um you can try it out by yourself and let me know if it works for you but for me i'll still stick with the patch tool for now so using the patch tool might not be as fast as the remove tool or i'll probably say as efficient as the remove tool you know when it comes to you know just painting and then taking out the blemishes and all that but the good thing about it is that it kind of makes up in time if you use the shift key because you can select a few blemishes and i just feel like overall it does a better job than the remove tool one thing that i did was that i actually came to this image that was um that is dark skin and i tried to use the remove tool on it and the problem that i could find was that it does not leave the red um reddish tint on this image the only issue that i could find if you guys can see here is when it's generating um, generating the pixels it kind of just leaves the place looking smooth so it does not do a great job unlike what the patch tool will do in this scenario which if we do use the patch tool so if i just take the patch tool you guys can see we still have like our textures intact so yeah um I, I feel like generally i don't think the remove tool is probably going to be the best tool for retouching skin um if you absolutely have to use it then go ahead and use it but for the most part i think you should stick with um the patch tool or the clone stamp tool for um working on um skin anyways uh, thank you so much for watching this video it gives you a thumbs up check out my pro retouching pack and check out my digital store if you guys get anything then you are directly supporting the channel as you guys know we do not have a uh, 
sponsors <laughs> or a lot of sponsors on this channel so thank you so much and uh, i'll see you guys next video peace out guys